at the end of the street next to the old church, I peered back, catching movement in the graveyard amidst its stones which poked up like broken teeth. Cherry with a man. One of her old boys by his grey cap of hair. She took his hand and guided him away. Maybe to blow him on her church steps, or fuck him. Wrinkling my nose, I looked away and stuck in my in-ear headphones, a song playing to start my night. Girls Like You by The Naked and Famous. Weird choice, phone. I stepped onto the main road, lines of shops either side, but most closed for the night, still with neon lights in the window. Despite the music, the need to hurry to work, my mind was still in the graveyard. Any one of those assholes could end Cherry's life with a snap of her neck or his hands around her throat. Any one of them could... Brakes squealed. Bright lights bore down on me. Solid, hot metal smacked into me and sent me skidding across the tarmac road. Coasting on the leather jacket's ribbed shoulder, I slithered to a stop against the curb, my headphones popping out in the crash. Holy shit. Dazed and in shock, I sat up, one hand to my thigh which had caught the road. It came away sticky with my blood. A car door opened. Fucking hell. A low voice bit out. I raised my gaze to the driver climbing from his huge black vehicle, one hand to his upper arm, and his dark blonde hair falling in his eyes. Steam rose from the grill. Oh, God. I'd walked straight out in front of a car. An expensive one. Perhaps even injured the driver from the way he held himself. I had to find my feet and fucking run. But the moment I was lifting, he was on me in long strides. And I was going nowhere.